All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, right now I am traversing the woods in search of seepages like this one that I'm gonna be flipping some rocks in and hopefully finding some colorful salamander species like northern red salamanders. We're gonna get after it, and then if we find one of those, we're gonna hop over to different spots to target different species. So let's see what we can find. As you can see, spring is pretty much here with the arrival of these skunk cabbages which uh, will be growing all up over the place pretty shortly. But uh, this looks like a good spot. I've been here before. I've seen some salamanders nearby. I'm just gonna make sure to put the rocks back correctly after flipping them. And whoop, there went a dusky salamander. I think I still see them here. Let's see if we can pull them out. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that speckling. These guys are relatively dull compared to what we're looking for, but I'll give you guys a better look at them. All right, so you can see the beauty in these guys is a little bit more subtle. Uh, they're pretty brown, so um, not anything too, too striking initially, but sometimes, whoop, he's on the move. Sometimes they've got these cool little speckles on the side. He actually just released himself right back down here where we found him, so I'm gonna make sure he gets on his way and we're gonna keep looking. All right, if we can get this one up, I think this is gonna be a good one. Apparently not. How about under here? Oh, dusky salamanders. Again, just gonna gently put it back down because they're in a cubby. Of course I'm not filming and I flipped this huge, beautiful red. I'm gonna get an up close to this guy for you. He's pretty awesome. So here we have an absolutely perfect adult northern red salamander. Look at that guy. One of my favorite species we have around here, just look at this chubby adult northern red where the black spots start to fill in, but it's got that very vibrant coloration. Oh my gosh. One of my favorites. I'm gonna get some macro shots of this guy for you guys, because this is uh, tricky to do one-handed. Yeah, look at that guy. So sweet. All right, one last look at this guy before I let him go. It's getting dark, I got out pretty late in the day. Um, so I wasn't expecting to have much time, but I'm, whoa. I'm glad that I connected with this beautiful red salamander. We're gonna let it back under its rock in a second here. All right, here we go, buddy. And off into the seepage you go. Back under your rock. Sweet. All right guys, so it is a new day. I've actually got my dog with me here. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna check some local spots for salamanders and then I'm probably gonna drive out somewhere a little bit further uh, for a couple other species. Hello. Um, right now, she wants to go for a walk right now. But anyway, right now the target is maybe a long-tailed salamander if we're lucky. Hopefully we could also get a red salamander, but we got one of those the other day, so. Uh, not too worried about that, but we'll see how we do today, and uh, let's get after it. You can see spring is definitely here. It is 
pretty rapidly approaching or advancing, I guess. These are invasive uh, rose species, but um, so they bloom a little bit earlier than everything else. But uh, it's a promising sign that snakes and lots of them are right around the corner. This is abandoned little pipe, um, or I guess wellhead in the side of a hill here. Uh, I actually get long-tailed salamanders in this sometimes, so let's take a look inside and uh, see what's going on. Oh, let's see. Are there any tome today? I'm not seeing any immediately. Though it's awfully warm. Hmm. Alright, none in there today. Might still be a little early in the year, but... Let's try a seepage, see if we can get anything over there. Oh man, they're all over the place. This could be a good one right here. Ooh. We have dusky salamanders all over the place. There goes one of those. I'm gonna put this back. Whoa! Holy smokes. Tons of dusky salamanders. Two line getting away. Pickerel frog right here. I'm gonna move these guys out and put the rock back down. Oh, there goes a two line. So I can put this back down. More duskies. There's a dusky hiding right there. Here's a green frog out basking. It's like 60 and sunny right now, so I think things are gonna wanna be out today. Let's see what we run into though. So the redback salamanders are awake. Here's a pair right here. Here comes my dog, being a nuisance. Here's a lead back phase. And uh, here's a real bright, nice red one. But uh, I'm gonna pull all these guys out and then put the log back. There's just a whole handful of red backs. I'm gonna put them back right here. And they'll find their way back under the log. So I uh, ditched the dog and uh, came out here with my cousin who's uh, <laughs> got our first salamander of the day. We actually have a little four-toed salamander that I flipped under a log along a wetland. He is gonna be a pain in the butt to film up close, because he's teeny. But um, new species for the day, one I was hoping to see here. Here's his diagnostic little white stomach. Pretty neat. I'm gonna put him back under his log over here. We're gonna keep looking. All right, so we have a small cave here. Uh, I don't encounter many caves in my explorations, but I'm gonna go in here, my phone flashlight. I wish I had my real flashlight. I'm gonna shine in the cracks. Maybe we'll get a cool salamander. Oh, oh I thought we had something for a second there. <laughs> There's nothing in there. <laughs> I can promise you that. <laughs> We're following the seepage up. Uh, it's a little too rocky, I think, because, I mean, the water is all the way down between the cracks, but it looks like we have another cave to explore. <laughs> so hopefully we find something in there. We're going to go check it out. Underwhelming. <laughs> we thought this would be cooler. But, I don't know, maybe... We have something up in the cracks and here, let's get the phone flashlight out. Uh, it feels a bit early in the year for this, whoa. But this guy is just out on the crawl right now, a red eft. These guys are very common, but it's been a while since I've seen one. Kind of neat. They're underappreciated because they're common, but they're really, really cool, I mean. They're brightly colored, 
they kind of move slow and yeah, newts in general are just really cool. Sweet, I'm just gonna put this guy back where he was. And we're actually gonna flip this log, I think, so maybe there's something under it. Got a nice vernal pool right here. Textbook, textbook vernal pool. Found this guy swimming around in the pool. Adult Eastern Newt. So that orange guy that we saw last basically grows up, turns into this aquatic dude. You still see the orange spots on the back, but uh, I'll let him get about his business here. I'm going to keep looking. We're having a hard time finding spotted salamanders though, which is what we were kind of targeting today. Spotted salamanders and Jefferson salamanders. Saw some last night, but... Yeah, I uh, don't know what the deal is. We can't seem to find one under a log. So we hiked all around and we're back where we started near this kind of bog with sphagnum moss. And we have another four-toed salamander, this one bigger than the last. Still very small salamanders, but it's cool to get a better look at this guy. I love the stomachs. Super neat. Let that guy go, maybe we can find another. All right, we're uh, kind of at a roadside little spot to flip here. And I just flipped this Jefferson salamander. I was really not expecting to see this after we've gone pretty much all day without seeing any ambistomids, but I will take it for sure. I'm gonna snap a couple pictures of them and then we're gonna keep looking around. So I don't know if in recent history I've really had many of these on, on film, or at least ones that are true Jeffersons with none or not much blue spotted influence, but one of the really diagnostic things is these giant toes that they have. It's super interesting. Um, and they kinda also have these cool long faces. Um, but overall, just pretty cool salamanders. I don't know that I've ever flipped one, though. I know people do it from time to time, but it seems a lot more common to run into them at night in the early, early spring. Check that out. Super cool guy. Whoa, it's dropped off the log here. Jack, if you pull this log back this way, we're getting deer ticks all over us, so we're wrapping up a photo <laughs> shoot pretty quickly. Um, if we pull the log back that way, I'll make them a little cubby, and we can send them right back under here. Put some leaves on there, and we should be good to go. We're gonna see if we flip anything else. All right, so we just flipped this log. And here we have a nice adult spotted salamander. That's pretty sweet. We're right on the side of the road. So uh, hopefully in its future, this thing has a uh, safe venture across the roadway, but pretty sweet. Jefferson and spotted from this spot after we went all day exploring vernal pools. Had to come back to a more reliable known spot and uh, we're pulling it off. These guys are always awesome though. Man, and here is another deer tick on me. It feels like every time I kneel down in the vegetation, somehow these guys get on me. So I'm gonna have to deal with that in a second. <laughs> I was just saying, I can't believe we haven't found a spotted salamander yet. And this guy or girl makes an appearance. Let's see. I'm gonna say probably girl, but I'm just guesstimating here. I haven't even looked at the under underside. Oh. I'm gonna let him under this log. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it uh, got dark on us out there, so we uh, ended up heading home but uh cool to end on the two 
ambistoma species that we have in that area, uh, the Jefferson and the spotted salamander. Uh, pretty cool outing, had fun hiking around, um, but that's going to be it for this episode. Warmer weather coming on the way, should have videos with snakes and reptiles and turtles, stuff like that soon. So uh, stay tuned for that, and I will catch you guys on the next one.